Um, hello, I'm here today to a bit about the spirit level, which pretty much explains um, everything, the whole shebang, start to finish, why we feel miserable, why we buy stuff we don't need, why we eat too much, drink too much, hurt people, whoa, whoa, even kill people, whoa. It explains why one in ten children in the UK have a mental illness, one in ten, and what's causing all of this is just one thing. But apparently, I've got to tell you about it in under three minutes because everyone's so busy, they can't spare any more time, even with a thing that explains everything. Get on with it! Alright, alright, calm down, I'm getting to it. So, basically, as I was saying, the authors of this book discovered that there is one common cause which increases almost all the social problems in a developed society. One cause, just one, a single overriding factor that makes almost everything worse. You name it, it's worse. Homicides, mental health, teenage births, obesity, imprisonment, drug dependence, social mobility, life expectancy, all are significantly worse by the effect of one thing. One! Who'd have thought it? And it's so simple. You're running out of time! I'm doing a build-up. Can't you see that? <coughs> Amateurs. So, where was I? Um, see? I've lost my train of thought now. Two secs. Did you know that people with friends just like to catch a cold? And people in good, intimate relationships heal quicker? Or maybe that in an experiment, low-status monkeys dominated by more powerful monkeys took cocaine to make themselves feel better? What's all this got to do with anything? Well, it's all in the book for a start. And the reason for all these things is the same thing. Just tell them what it is! What if I told you you could live in a society that was friendlier, where people trusted each other more, where there was less stress, where your kids would be happier and better educated? Oh, and you would live longer too. And all you had to do was concentrate on one thing. One single thing that would make all this happen. Would you do it if you were told? Would you believe it? You should. This isn't a theory, it's fact. Nice, clever, experty people have collected over 30 years of evidence from countries around the world, waded through tons and tons of statistical research and gone to a lot of trouble just to be sure their findings fit. And I can tell you now, despite everyone banging on about it, the answer to everything is not, I repeat, not economic growth. See, the problem is we've all been looking in the wrong place. Throwing money at this, sticking a plaster over that, but it's all just patchwork. And really, really, really expensive patchwork at that. 29 million prescriptions for antidepressants were written in one year in the UK. Cost to NHS? 400 million. 400 million pounds. Maybe you'd be shocked to know that since 1984, the state of California has built only one new college, but 21 new prisons, and currently has 360 people doing life for shoplifting. Has it stopped people committing crime? No. None of this is working. Why? Basically, we're trying to fix all these problems individually, but they are all the result of a much bigger issue. There's really just one problem, one all-encompassing factor that makes all these other harmful, destructive things much, much worse for absolutely everyone. And the reason is, actually, I think I'll just let you read the book. It's all in there. Cheerio! The Spirit Level. Why More Equal Societies Almost Always Do Better by Richard Wilkinson and Kate Pickett. Oh, you're sporting now. Okay, let's go on then. Go and read it. Aren't you just a little bit curious? <laughs>